Bone grafting plays a vital component of implant dentistry. It creates the base to ensure the success of dental implant procedures. In this clip, we'll discuss the role of bone grafting during implant dentistry, types of bone grafts readily available, as well as the procedure for the process of bone grafting. Implant dentistry has transformed the world of dentistry by giving a permanent remedy for teeth that are missing. Implants are made of artificial roots which are surgically inserted inside the jawbone in order to provide support for a dental prosthesis, including a crown bridge or denture. For implants to function properly, it is necessary to have sufficient jawbone in order to help support the implant. There are many people that have lost their teeth from decay, trauma, or periodontal diseases may not have enough of jawbone for dental implants. In these instances, it is necessary to use bone grafting to strengthen the jawbone and provide a sturdy basis for the dental implant. Bone grafting can be described as a surgical procedure in which bone is extracted from another region of the body or utilizing synthetic bone materials for the construction of jawbone. The bone graft materials are implanted into the region that the implant is going to be placed. Over time, the graft will join with bone tissue to form a solid and sturdy basis that will support the dental implant. There are many types of bone grafts that are available for implants, which include autografts, allografts, and alloplasts. Autografts require the use of bone taken from a patient's body, for example, the jaw or hip, and are considered to be the best option for bone grafting owing to their high rate of success. Allografts rely on bone taken that comes from donors, most often the cadaver, and is widely utilized in the field of implant dental. These xenografts use bone from different species, for instance bovine bone. While alloplasts are bone substitutes made from synthetic materials by a lab. The procedure of grafting bone for implant dentistry begins by conducting an extensive examination and analysis of the patient's oral health as well as the jawbone's anatomy. When it's decided it is needed and the dentist can discuss the different kinds of bone grafts that are available, as well as the ideal option that best suits the individual patient's needs. During the procedure of bone grafting, dentists make an incision through the gum tissue in order to expose the jawbone. The bone graft tissue will then be inserted on the site that the dental implant will be placed. The cut is sealed with stitches. Patients will have to attend for a few months while waiting for the graft of bone to grow and become integrated with bone tissue before the dental implant is installed. When the bone graft is fully healed, the dentist can put the dental implant inside the jawbone. It will function as a substitute tooth root giving security and support to this dental prosthesis. When properly cared for and maintained, dental implants will endure for years and help restore appearance and function to the smile. The bottom line is that bone grafting is an important part of implant dentistry. It gives a firm basis for the successful implant surgeries. In grafting the jawbone with bone grafts, those who've lost teeth may profit from the strength and durability that dental implants provide. If you're considering getting implant dentistry but do not have enough jawbone for them, consult your dentist regarding the possibility using bone grafting in order to make an enduring foundation for your beautiful smile.